I warmly welcome, congratulate the Bank of St. Lucia on the launch of its mutual fund for the citizens and residents of the ECCU. Styled Bank of St. Lucia Global Investment Fund. Indeed, with this launch, Bank of St. Lucia has become the first indigenous bank in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union to so do. This is most appropriate. After all, St. Lucia is our largest member country and has the largest economy in the ECCU. Furthermore, Bank of St. Lucia is the second largest bank in the ECCU with assets in excess of three billion. I wish to recognize the work of the Eastern Caribbean Securities Regulatory Commission, a securities regulator, in respect of this development. Ladies and gentlemen, I have three key messages. First, the launch of the BOSL Global Investment Fund is a boost for a big push challenge. Second, wealth creation is an important pathway for creating prosperity and building resilience. Third, improving financial literacy is imperative and urgent. Big push. At the launch of our celebration of the ECCB's 40th anniversary last year, I posed this provocative question to our currency union. What will it take to double the size of our economy over the next decade? That means moving from 21 billion to 42 billion. And for St. Lucia, this means moving from 5.5 billion to 11 billion. I then issued a clarion call for a big push and identified several drivers, one of which is wealth creation. I call attention to the fact that almost three in five persons in the United States, or 60%, are invested in the U.S. stock market. In contrast, only one in 25 persons in the ECCU, or 4%, I invested in the Eastern Caribbean securities market. I then proposed a stretch target to raise that number from one in 25 persons to one in five persons or 20% over the next decade. I therefore confirm that the launch of this fund is very much aligned with the strategic directions of the ECCB which include financial inclusion and wealth creation. Through this mutual fund, citizens and residents of the ECCU will have access to the international financial markets. As I understand it, the minimum investment side is US $200 or EC $540, after which you may invest any amount. From the perspective of financial inclusion, this relatively low entry investment size provides an opportunity for our people to invest and access both the regional and international markets. And before you complain <laughs> about the quantum of funds required, I invite some of you to reflect on what you paid for your recent All Year's Night FET or for your V or VVIP box for those fets. The launch of this mutual fund leverages the strong savings culture in our region and offers an accessible and affordable way for people to become financial investors. In recent times, we have observed some persons are pursuing risky option, options such as investments in cryptos. I hope these persons will consider this mutual fund as a safer option in which to invest their hard-earned money. It is appropriate for us to situate the launch of this mutual fund in the broader context of our region's quest to create prosperity and to build resilience. Our inaugural Financial Literacy and Inclusion Survey found that one in two persons in the ECCU are not financially resilient. For me, 
Resilience is the capacity to withstand and absorb shocks and bounce forward, not back, forward. At a personal level, I truly believe that wealth creation is a pathway to building financial resilience. Because to the extent that our people generate additional income and wealth, including intergenerational wealth transfer, the stronger their capacity to weather financial storms and shocks. So leveraging the question I initially posed to our currency union, I invite you to now reflect on this personal and provocative question. What will it take to double your net worth over the next decade? Let's pause for a moment and reflect on this question. I now invite you to personalize this question. What will it take for me to double my net worth over the next decade? Before I conclude, I wish to remind BOSL Fund Management that this launch is an important first step, a milestone moment. It is necessary, but not sufficient. Do not simply assume if you build it and offer it, investors will come. Effective demand will be driven by both cash and consciousness. For as Arthur Lewis, distinguished Nobel laureate, wisely proffered, the fundamental cure for poverty is not riches, but knowledge. Consequently, you must be relentless in cultivating an appetite for financial investing and sustaining demand for this product. And you must do so through a massive financial literacy campaign and good fund performance. I wish to remind Bank of St. Lucia Fund Management, broker dealers and investment advisors of your responsibility to inform and educate the people of the ECCU on both their rights and risks as investors. And I hereby confirm that the ECCB will be expanding its own financial literacy, resilience and wellness programs. I therefore strongly encourage the people of St. Lucia and the ECCU to avail themselves of these offerings. In conclusion, in my capacities as Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank and Chairman of the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange, I express my pleasure with the launch of the BOSL Global Investment Fund. I wish all involved BOSL fund management, broker dealers, but especially our investors. Great success. I thank you.